Let's make plant-based egg fried rice. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Sungkyung Longgas and today we are going to make plant-based fried rice. I'm so excited. So we are going to make basic egg fried rice. It's so delicious. You guys loved my egg fried rice recipe before, so I'm pretty sure you guys will love this too. And I'm chopping about three, four cloves of garlic, uh, depending on the size of your garlic. So chop it finely because we've got to have garlic in our fried rice. I wanted to mention that thank you so much for all your love and support of my plant-based journey decision. I am like really overwhelmed in a good way and thank you so much. And I actually read a lot of you guys commented and also I got personal messages and emails about not deleting my old videos. Um, after hearing so many of your comments, I decided to reconsider about it and you guys had a good point about it, you know what I mean? So let the conversation keep going on this comment because I really want to hear more about what you really, really think. And the one comment that got me was that it is my journey and the how I started and how you guys supported and everything, that's my past and to move on from the past doesn't mean I need to erase my past. And that really like got into my heart. And so thank you so much for all your opinion. So I'm making egg fried rice. Now I'm thinking like, should I deliver my egg fried rice or not? So let me know guys, let me know. And sorry, I was actually made the decision without even talking to you guys even before. That was really selfish. And so now I'm here and open to the conversation and I wanna hear more about what you think. So I just chopped some garlic. No, this is ginger. I chopped some ginger. <laughs> about a teaspoon of ginger. Ginger is beautiful and delicious in fried rice. I'm gonna set aside right there. And also uh, four to five green onions, depending on the size of green onion. If you have a really fat green onion, probably four will be enough. Um, but my green onion is kind of regular size, so I'm gonna use five. So what I'm gonna do with the green onion is that cut the right, not right, white and the light green part as aromatic vegetable and set aside with garlic and ginger. And this darker green part, we're gonna chop it and toss it at the very last for bright green and the green onion flavor at the end is gonna make this fried rice so refreshing but delicious and packed with umami. Set aside separately like this because they are going in different time. Every time when I'm making a um, stir fry dish, I always telling you that prep everything before you start to cook because we are going to cook over very high heat and you do not want to stop cooking in the middle of it or reduce the heat because that way the fried rice will become soggy fried rice and you don't want to you don't want that happen like a little tiny dice now lastly a choice a vegetable of your choice not choice of your so you can use peas for bright green color, you can use green beans, just cut up, or you can just chop some asparagus. I have some asparagus in the refrigerator, that's what I'm using it. You can use corn, corn will be delicious in this fried rice. I'm gonna set aside the carrot and asparagus over here because I need the room for my egg. <laughs> you already probably guessed what I'm using for egg part, but I want to keep it surprised until I take it out. So for the egg, we are going to use a tofu. You probably saw a lot of these uh, hip brunch restaurants or these places use uh, scrambled tofu instead of a scrambled egg. They are truly, really delicious. Even when I was eating egg, I was still eating the scrambled tofu because how delicious they are. I love them so much. So for the scrambled tofu, you need medium farm to farm tofu. 
you don't need to remove the excess water or anything because the water contents actually decides how moisture how moisture that scrambled tofu is. So there's only one thing that you need to do is to smash them down. If you like really fine scrambled egg, obviously you need to smash them down fine. If you like a little more chunky scrambled egg, that's what you need to do. And this is right about how I like it. Easy, right? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna heat up my wok and gonna make scrambled tofu first. So heat up wok or large skillet over high heat and add about two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using avocado oil. I always, always use avocado oil. And I know a lot of you guys ask me about my wok. I got this wok from Amazon. I will put the link down below so where you can check it out. Um, if you want just different types of wok or a different brand, you can definitely get it. Just make sure you get carbon steel wok because that's what I use, carbon steel. Uh, brand, this doesn't matter. The carbon steel, the material is what's important. So make sure you get carbon steel wok. You can get the carbon steel wok already seasoned or like this that I seasoned myself. So it's up to you. So I'm going to carefully add the tofu and we're going to season the tofu with some turmeric for the yellow color. We need the tofu to look like, you know, egg. And some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika flavor in my scrambled tofu. They're delicious. And then you can season with regular salt, but using this black salt makes this scrambled tofu really eggy. So it's up to you, either you use this salt or not. I Sometimes when I want that stinky egg flavor, I use it. A lot of the times I kind of just use regular salt because it's not a huge deal for me. But when I want like eggy taste, that's what I use and some garlic powder because we need some flavor in our tofu and some onion powder even though we're gonna use fresh garlic and ginger and onion we still need to spice up our tofu and some black pepper and also a little pinch of regular salt as well now go ahead and start fry See, I will add a little more smoked paprika. I think a total of a one, and, one teaspoon and a little more turmeric. I like my scrambled tofu. Scrambled tofu has like nice and darker color than bright yellow, but it's completely up to you. You can reduce the spices level uh, to your liking. I like to cook my scrambled tofu until they have a little brown edges. But if you really like soft, silky, uh, the scrambled tofu or scrambled egg texture, you probably want to cook it a little more, uh, less than how I'm cooking. This looks perfect to me, so I'm going to turn off the heat. And put it on to a plate. And our scrambled tofu is done. You can actually make this for your breakfast, I love this on my top of my savory oatmeal. I love this eating with some toast or some rice and some avocado. So delicious. Let me taste it again a little bit. Mmm. Perfect. It's so delicious. <laughs> okay. Only one downfall for this recipe is that you have to rinse your wok. Otherwise, all this turmeric color in the wok will get into your rice. I mean, if you don't mind that all fried rice becoming a little yellowish, then you can definitely go ahead and do that. But I actually, the look of the food is very important to me, so I'm gonna rinse it off real fast. I just rinsed off my wok. Turn the heat back on, and I have to season the wok before I start fry other stuff. Um, I'm actually glad I get to have a chance to show you guys how washed it without the sub. You always wash your carbon steel without the sub and just scrub, scrub, scrub. And just let it dry and we're gonna coat it with oil before we start to cook. So wipe off that excess water inside of the wok and add a little oil. 
I'm doing with my hand, but please do not use hand, you use uh, tongue, okay? I'm doing like this because I'm pro, I'm okay with it because I burned myself many, many times. I know what I'm doing, but you use tongue. Let it smoke a little bit, turn it off, let the smoke go away, and then this wok is ready to cook again. Seamless. All right, so most of the smoke is gone now, so this wok is ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna turn the heat back on, over high heat, add about two tablespoons of oil, add garlic, ginger, white part of the green onion. Oh, I forgot to rinse off my spatula. Quickly rinse it off. Okay. Ooh, smells fantastic already! I love this time. Okay. Go ahead and add the carrots and uh, asparagus or whatever vegetable you are using. And add about four cups not quite a four cups, I will say about three cups of cooked, cold, I know mine is hot, but highly recommend cold, jasmine rice. I'm using uh, brown jasmine rice, and I didn't have time to cool it down my jasmine rice. Yes, this is a criminal. It is a criminal. I can't even believe, but it is what it is. Okay, I forgot to cook rice yesterday, so I'm using hot jasmine rice. It is definitely criminal, but it's okay. But anyways, you can use any rice that, uh, uh, that you have already in the refrigerator. The cold is always the best. You can use white jasmine rice, brown jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is my absolute favorite rice, a full fried rice, that's what I'm using it. Um, but you can use any other long grain rice too. Uh, so seasoning time, before we mix the rice, you need about a tablespoon of soy sauce per cup of rice. So remember that and make sure you add the soy sauce around the edge of the wok so the soy sauce will burn and cook while it's getting into the fried rice it creates that umami flavor so beautiful teaspoon of yandu this is a korean liquid nutritional yeast this is so delicious it's, it's my it's my new fish sauce <laughs> and don't forget Little pinch of MSG. Dude, I came down all the way eating plant based. I cannot give up my MSG. So don't give me shit. Now we are going to turn off the heat, add the scrambled the tofu. This will be the best plant-based egg fried rice recipe out there, I guarantee you. Because no one could like Sankya. That's why. I'm just kidding. My mouth is watering. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Where is my uh, general choice tofu? I will like kill it with this. Or orange cauliflower, orange chickenless cauliflower. Oh, it will be so good with this dish. Lastly, through some sesame oil if you want, but I think I use plenty of oil in my fried rice, so I'm gonna skip it. But I cannot give up my sesame seeds because I'm a sesame bread. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> I'm so excited. My mouth is worrying so bad. Okay, let me taste, taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ma'am. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. White rice could be better. Yes, yes. 
but brown rice is so much healthier so Mm, mm, mm. Oh, what is that? What's that? Need the mustache. <laughs> Just got our flower deliver uh, from florist. We uh, deliver flower every Monday. Um, and this is such a beautiful flower. So I just want to give a shout out to my florist. Thank you so much if you guys like this arrangement. And if you are, happen to be in Flo uh, Plano, Dallas area in Texas, check them out. I will leave their Instagram link down below. They doing, they're, they're doing such an amazing job. This is gorgeous. Right there. <laughs> Mm, it's vegan. I can't even tell. I would, I would say vegan. It's plant based. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't taste like brown rice to me. I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> good. Can. Jacob, you want to taste it? Come on. Jacob. Mm. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you liked my plant-based egg fried rice recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And we will see you next time. Bye! Mm. Oh, I need to take you a look, picture. You gave, beauty, me a, beauty you gave me a bite and you just said you closed I'll make you a bite right here. I didn't get to tell you how good it is. No, but you know that, how good it is? Like I need, I need a, a bite. There we go. <laughs> I need to take a picture. <laughs>